going to cover today. Interview preparation, the interview itself, and post-interview suggestions. Let's start with interview preparation. Experts that we've interviewed made this statement loud and clear. And you probably need to keep this in mind whenever you're out interviewing. It's not about you, it's about them. An interview is actually about how you can help your future boss and future employer succeed. Experts have told us that when preparing for an interview, you need to do at least three things. First, determine the needs that are outlined in the job description. Next, determine the qualities that are valued by the company. And then finally, do some research on the industry as well as current trends. In order to determine the needs that are outlined in the job description, you need to understand the job offering itself. Now one of the questions many industry experts ask job applicants is to explain what they think the job offering actually entails. And most of the time, they're finding that the person being interviewed gives a subpar answer. Remember that it's critical that you obtain detailed insight on your day-to-day -day responsibilities and how the job offering fits into the whole of the organization. So you need to go beyond the written job description and research the position itself. To do this, Google the position, talk to others. Even if they don't have the exact position, ask them to help. And then finally, now keep this in mind, don't be afraid to contact the head of human resources at the firm you're interviewing and verify what you found out. The only way to determine the qualities that the company values is by researching the company you're being interviewed with. The quality a company values can usually be found on their website. You just need to know where to look. Now everyone knows to, how to find the company's general information, location, general services, products, history, basic financial information, organizational structure, etc. But look beyond these basics. Check out the pages labeled careers, about us, upcoming events, as well as things like our culture. You may be surprised at all the information you can find there. Here's an example of specific company research. This is a screenshot taken from the Fidelity Investments website. Now right here is a wealth of information into the qualities the company is seeking on right on here on this page. For example, they're looking for ambitious employees with talent who can work well with others and who can come up with innovative ideas through creative thinking. So if I'm interviewing for Fidelity, I'm taking a look at this screen right here and making sure I position my answers to their questions in line with the values of the company itself. Now this one should be very obvious. The best way to research the industry is by scouring the internet looking for topics that are timely. Now here's an example of a timely topic that's important to the financial services industry. Currently, the market is controlled by baby boomers. Baby boomers are individuals born between 1946 and 1964 and represent approximately 78 million individuals. Millennials, on the other hand, are individuals born between 1980 and the early 2000s. And this demographic is now growing faster than the baby boomer demographic. So you need to study both of these particular marketplaces because the financial services industry is striving to serve both. So let's move on to the interview itself. Once again, please keep in mind that these are opinions of industry experts and treat them as such. And to do your own homework regarding this topic. So let's take a look at some of these tips here. First, don't assume everyone you'll be meeting with has a copy of your resume, so bring some extras. Next, if appropriate, ask if you can take notes. 
Taking notes shows focus and interest. And it'll also allow you for meaningful follow-up post the interview itself. Next, and I think this is a very good idea, when asked a question, don't be too quick to respond. Think about taking a deep breath, repeat the question to yourself quickly, and then give a brief response and make it to the point. Next, and we hear this from professionals quite a bit, avoid using cliches like win-win, moving the needle, let's take it to the next level. Phrases like these are often you know, quite, quite meaningless in the interview process. Next, it's very important to know the titles and roles of the individuals with whom you'll be interviewing with. This is going to allow you to direct your questions and answers relating to their day-to-day -day job responsibilities. And keep in mind, you should think about preparing some questions for these specific people ahead of time. And then finally, do not forget to collect those business cards for follow-up. Now let's look at some sample questions that you may be asked. Now we've covered these first four, but let's go all the, go all the way down to the why you question. Now keep in mind that this is never an easy one to answer, so you ought to plan your answer in advance. Maybe prepare a story about yourself. Maybe a project you worked on, an experience you had, and make sure you highlight your skills and your qualities and match them up with the company values, just like we talked about. Second to last question, what do you do for fun? Be prepared to talk about yourself as a person and be prepared to answer that question. People want to like the people that they work with. Common sense, but they may ask you that question. And then my favorite, this last question, where do you see yourself 36 months from now? Keep in mind that many of the industry experts we interviewed responded that they want to hear the candidate wants to master the first job. So they want to hear that you actually know your first job and all it entails before taking on the next opportunity within the company. So maybe a sample answer could go, you know, something like this. If hired, I do the best job possible, so when I learn my job and I know what it entails, I may have earned the right to look at future opportunities. Think about that. So what about some sample questions to ask senior management? Please keep in mind that if asked if you have any questions, make sure you have some. So here are a couple of samples. Where do you see the industry three to five years from now? That's a good question. Who is your competition? Another good question. Third question, sample question. Are there any new products or market markets that you're exploring? And then last but not least, looking forward, what concerns you the most? Keep in mind that senior management, most senior, senior management types are thinking about these questions all the time. That's how they're wired, and they will appreciate you asking. So now the interview's over. Here's a couple of post-interview suggestions. After your interview, your follow-up should be tailored to the audience with whom you met. So there's no rule of thumb here, but older employees may find that a handwritten note is most appropriate, where an email may be suitable for others. Keep in mind, though, never, never send a thank you text. But also keep in mind that if you don't get the job, you need to be gracious and ask to be considered for future possibilities. It's very common for candidates to be brought back, sometimes even months after not landing an initial job, only to be hired for a different position. So keep that in mind. So let's close out this learning module with a couple of final suggestions. First, make sure you have a voicemail message and that it portrays you as a professional. Next, practice, practice and arrange several mock interviews with individuals that you trust. 
This can actually significantly increase the ease at which you answer questions on the spot. And there's nothing like experience, as you know, in practice to calm your nerves. So keep that in mind. It's also, third bullet point here, it's also not a bad idea to schedule interviews close together. And the further you go along in your interview process, as I just stated, you'll become more at ease as you go get closer to the third and fourth interview. And you'll improve as such. And maybe try to schedule that job that you really want last in the interview process. And last but not least, reading industry publications. Receive Google alerts, not a bad idea, from the companies that you have interest in, as well as industry news. So in closing, thank you for your time, and we hope you found this information valuable.